Yan Amogela and Obenyami bomb Tabaga dad bomb Tabaga coco bomb Tabaga auntie bomb Tabaga sissy. I am Sims and it's at the right Sims on Instagram. So please, uh, follow your sister. I'm also here to help you on YouTube. So if you are starting a YouTube channel or you need a channel shout out for your channel, hit me up. My services are only 150 rands for channels. Yeah, do the right thing for yourself, for us, for the nation. Hit the join button if you want to become a member of this channel and get some exclusive perks and content from me. See, Sims, you need to stop. At some point, you need to stop. Before we get into today's video, I have a channel shout out. I have the beautiful Amber. Guys, well, Amber's channel is very thought provoking. It hits you here in your soul. You know why? Because it talks thoughts and topics, guys. They are talking about things that affect you, that affect me, things that are relevant, things that need to be sat down and discussed. Okay, please go over there and support her. I know you guys show love. So please show her some love. Amber, tell us why. Morweni, Amber here. I'm here promoting my brand new channel again called Talk Thoughts and Topics. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Um, it's a channel where we have mindful and meaningful conversations. We talk about real life issues and problems. The channel is meant to be engaging and informative. So if this sounds like your type of channel, please do consider subscribing. Doho. Thank you guys. Bye. Please don't forget to subscribe to Amber's channel and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I know. I know you saw the thumbnail and you were like, this bitch is going to get it from Om Shato Gang. This bitch is going to get it from I Believe in Indota Gang. Now listen, guys, I am telling you the honest truth and I'm speaking from experience, okay? Your in-laws are your colleagues, okay? You've got to be smart about this, okay? I am not bashing our in-laws. I'm not saying anything mean about Minos. I am just trying to help the marriage gang get some few things straight okay i am going to make you a few points and if you don't learn anything from this video bitch if you don't now now you know okay okay first of all point number one they are not blood relatives of yours okay point number two you came there via penis or vajayjay okay their loyalty, their best interest remains that of their biological child, which is either if you are a husband, their daughter, if you are a wife, their son. It's nothing like, and there's nothing wrong in that because even if I run to my mother, my mother will put me first. Okay, same with your in laws, if you run to your mother in law. As objective as they try to be, their best interest is that of their own first, which is not wrong. Number two, for you not to get hurt, stop over sharing. Okay, don't overshare. What as much as you say. No, I want them to help me work out our problems in, 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 in. As much as you won't go to your own family with your marital problems because you know they're going to look at your partner sideways, it's best that you also don't overshare your endeavors with your in-laws because it might get used against you. Am I lying? Uh, <laughs> hardly. Seldom do I lie when it comes to such things, Okay. Okay, thank you. Number three, your status is on WhatsApp. Don't forget, Khuri, this is a professional setting. Do you show your co-workers there at work? Do you have your co-workers on your WhatsApp and do, do they see your statuses? If you do, block them from seeing your statuses, firstly. Number two, block your in-laws from seeing your statuses. Are you high? Are you mad? 
it's always up to misinterpretation. They will see how they want to see your statuses. Imagine you post a famous person and that happens to be a chance. And then you're like, man crush. Then they're like, ah, we are cheater. We are cheater. Oh, yeah, shit. This is a business transaction, okay? Okay. You are there by contract. Like, let's be honest. You are there by contract. Yes, it may be under the oath and ordained by the Lord, but it's still a business contract. Dare anything happens to your spouse, you will be left to your own vices, okay? You will be left to your own vices after they accuse you. Because we, we, we watch a lot of shows. Don't lie. Don't even lie. We watch a lot of shows on TV, especially now that South Africa has its own reality shows. Go much love. Thank you much love for these reality shows. We always see, Hori, when someone loses their spouse, the first suspect is always the remaining spouse. Hori, your husband died and you did not do anything. There is no third hand. Were you not involved in his passing? Were you not involved? We want our things. Bring the car. Bring the car keys. Bring the in. Bring the in. Bring the in. So, it is a business transaction. Listen to me, yo. It is a business transaction. And number, single point number one. I don't even know point number one because these points are all so important. Those, they are not your friends. They are not your friends. What what you say, who you say it to, and how you say it. They are not your friends. Some of you guys are lucky to have amazing and nice in-laws, but also don't forget to draw the line. They are not your friends, okay? And you are going to learn, learn the hard way. Okay, these people are actually your colleagues and not your friends. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's for coming to my final point as hard as it is don't take anything personally and i know you like sims how how because this is my personal life yes it is your personal life hence i say treat it as a work relationship unless you are the people that take your work home okay don't take anything personally and for that to happen is that do not have any expectations just because you get a certain treatment at your own home where you come from, don't think you will receive the same treatment as your in-laws, okay? You did not grow up in that home. They do things differently to how you guys do things at your own home. And if you happen to find similar treatment, count yourself lucky. But don't ever get mistaken and drop the ball. You are there on a contract. That is your workplace. That is your work environment, okay? Anything can happen at any time, okay? Heck, you might even get replaced at some point if things don't work out. You yeah, understand where I'm going with this? So don't take anything personally. And leave the door open. I'm gonna leave the door open. Oh. But I'm just saying, Hori, you're in-laws. Your in-laws, you understand, are in your life by law. Not by birth, not by blood, but by law. So don't ever cross lines. Always have boundaries for the sake of your mental health, your sanity, and the progress of your own marriage, relationship, whatever. I hope you guys listened to me. I hope these tips are things that you will take and use <laughs> for the sake of your own self. This is war. Didn't you hear Tamer say love and war? Bitch, come on, get with the program, okay? Oh my gosh, these glasses are probably like <laughs> this girl. <laughs> I'm gonna leave the door open. I'm gonna leave the door open.